Here in the New Mexico desert, in December 1942, the first major steps were taken to bring forth an atomic bomb, an awesome power unknown to previous civilizations. The story began back in 1939 when Albert Einstein wrote a letter to U.S. President Franklin Roosevelt warning him that Germany was engaging in research to split the atom and design an atomic bomb of their own. Roosevelt's response to Einstein was to authorize one of the largest and most secretive operations ever, the Manhattan Project. In an unprecedented effort, thousands of scientists and engineers throughout the country were enlisted to create an atomic bomb. They worked on various pieces of the project all across the United States without any idea what the net result would be. But physicist Robert Oppenheimer knew he had assembled the world's most brilliant physicist to put the pieces together. In August 1944, the puzzle for the detonation of the world's first atomic bomb was almost solved. Oppenheimer and his fellow scientists were anxious to put their theories to the test. After months of wiring and testing, the implosion device atop this 100-foot tower in the New Mexico desert was ready for the ultimate trial. Nicknamed Fat Man, it was almost 11 feet long and weighed more than 10,000 pounds. Many felt it would never work. Others were concerned that it would and would end the world. On July 16, 1945, both sides were proven wrong as the world's first atomic bomb was exploded. The explosion sent a giant mushroom cloud 41,000 feet high in the New Mexico sky. The detonation of Fat Man in the summer of 1945 soon led to the end of the war and profoundly affected the world. Meanwhile, the Germans were busy working on their own ultimate weapon at a secret hideaway called Petamunda.